Okay. Welcome back to Grit Gym, guys. We have Kelly Potter here. She goes by KP. What is it? KP Simple. Keeping it simple. Keeping it simple. So KP is it? Isn't it KP Simple? Under KP underscore ing it simple. There you it's go. Very um, on Instagram, are you on Facebook too? Uh, Facebook? yeah. Yeah. I think you can follow her on Instagram too. So we're going to talk a little bit about nutrition, a little bit about, uh, even wore the shirt today, the look like a girl shirt. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll get you one of those before you go. Yeah. Um, so we're going to hear a little bit about Kelly's story, uh, where she's been, and the documentation that she's done along the way through social media, which is really cool. Um, and you want to tell them just a little bit about yourself, where sure. you are? Well, I left out almost everything, so you go for it. <laughs> okay, where do you want me to start? Where, like, about me, about... Let's go for, right, let's do it a now. Let's okay. do it like Quentin Tarantino style. So we'll go now, <laughs> Okay. and then we'll go all the way back to the, uh, the okay. beginning, and then we'll go come back to the middle. Okay, deal. So, <laughs> I am a nurse. I am nursing faculty, and I'm a PhD student. Um, I huge, currently... Huge nerd. I am a huge nerd. That is an understatement. Um, I am often seen working on statistics homework or in the gym right now or oh in my, my kitchen. God. Statistics was the worst. It's really bad. It's but awful. when I learn something and I actually understand it, I like get really excited. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I and, understand that. And it's even better because I read a lot of like nutritional like studies or weightlifting studies, and I know exactly what they mean, which is really fun. That's no, fantastic. Like so you're nerd not just brain. reading the stuff, and you're just like. Like think you understand, yeah. but you don't really. Yeah, where good. you're like, yeah, 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 I know what. I don't know. Like I heard a bunch of them recently. There's like something Newton's per, you know, and, yeah. and statistically, blah, blah blah blah. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to go look that. Right, it's awesome. Like I, I can read it, and I don't have to translate it in my head. I just understand it, which is nice. sweet. So um, I love to lift weights. I love to cook, and I love to do nerdy things. So those are my big things, and it all kind of started. In April of last year, so 2016, um, I weighed almost 200 pounds, and I decided one day that I was just done um, feeling really terrible, feeling tired and lethargic all the time, and really being unhappy with how my body looked and how my body functioned. So, Do you think that those went hand in hand with each other? Oh, absolutely. Like the one fed the other, and then the other fed the first. Absolutely. Kind of thing. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, my self-confidence was really poor and I yeah. part of it was I had torn my ACL in January of last year Bummer. so I was skiing in Colorado and a snowboarder lost control and hit me from behind and I had my feet planted so it was an automatic just that'll do it yep it, it sure did so <laughs> I was in a brace at this time I was overweight and I was really unhappy with what I could do and I didn't like knowing that I was limited so I decided one day that I was done feeling like that yeah. and I said okay we're gonna switch things up and so I did this um, nutrition and fitness program it's called tone it up which is where, where I really got started and it was a meal plan that taught me how to eat clean and how to what's um, I know I'm cutting you off there but no, what's good. that mean to you what's clean mean to you? clean whole foods simple ingredients nothing processed or artificial and when you see whole grains on a box of Cheerios does that mean whole foods um, when I see whole grains that's fine the other things behind it and I don't eat Cheerios very often just wanted so. just wanted to make that decision yes, <laughs> yes. so it, it, whatever comes behind it sure but whole grains I see nothing wrong with that um, yeah, there, now I'll tell you a little bit about <laughs> my mindset as it's evolved. So I started out with this very clean diet, it was very consistent, um, very much whole foods, nothing super processed, um, nutrient dense foods, and it really changed the way I was eating. I was, before this, I was eating like a lot of like empty carbohydrates, fast food, takeout things, just convenience because I was working. Um, rotating shifts as a nurse. I was in a master's program. I was starting a new job. I was commuting from Des Moines to Iowa City. Damn. It was busy. Yeah. It was really busy. So, um, really made like a gear switch and it worked. So, over the course of about six months, six or seven months, I had lost about 55 pounds. That's um, impressive. It was very consistent i think that's the thing like if yeah. i do something i am pretty much in it i think that, like is there any other way to really get no. be successful i've never seen anybody make progress in anything especially strength conditioning fat loss whatever right. and unless they just went 
all in right. with everything there. Right. And I do think that you have a little bit of wiggle room with that, but overall in your grand scheme of things, your big picture, which I'm all about, is the consistency piece yeah. for it. So Yeah, I, I completely agree. Yeah. 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 Um, so I was doing that, I was doing a lot of cardio, I was a little spin queen, I mean I was going to spin class probably like six or seven times a week plus doing like what I was calling toning workouts, so very light weights, um, and I like yeah. the quotes and the toning. Yes, the toning, <laughs> the toning workouts. Um, <laughs> Don't use more than 12 pounds. Right, right, right. The max I was doing was two 15 pound dumbbells for um, RDLs. You're, you're so hardcore. It was so hardcore. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It is a start. And yeah, no, but yeah. I'm making fun, but oh, yeah, yeah. I totally understand. Yeah, so, um, you know, about this time last year, I decided, okay, I've lost all this weight, but I want to be strong. Yeah. I want to have more function. I want to be able to be functionally fit. I want to be able to do pull-ups and handstands and like... Now you're talking the fun stuff. Ninja stuff. Ninja. <laughs> like, functionally fit. I wasn't super um, focused on the aesthetics portion of it. Sure. I was pretty happy with my, where my body was um, aesthetically, but I wanted to be able to do more. And so I started working with a trainer cool. and had a personalized program and really... Um, started lifting heavy yeah what's and heavy mean to you like like well what, the, now we're now we're trying i'm kind of switching back and forth between yeah. now and then so well it's, it's a transition it's still <laughs> it, i mean so we moved from this lots of cardio toning workouts to heavy lifting yeah. and when i say heavy lifting i mean progressively increasing the amount of weight that i'm lifting on a regular basis Did you guys hear that to <laughs> Stimulate muscle <laughs> hypertrophy. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? Like, like, because this is something I think really gets lost. Like, some people think like, oh, heavy means I got to come in and use the big plates right away. No. It's like, no, you don't. Like, like, sixty-five pounds might be a max deadlift right. to uh, a sixty-year-old, one hundred and ten-pound female that has never lifted before. Right. You know, yeah, like it, it is completely relative to the person involved. Absolutely. So, yeah. so I mean, I started out doing like a goblet squat with a heavy heavy to me kettlebell and progressively I have increased What'd that you start too. With? What'd you start with? Oh. Like, a, like an 8 kilogram, 12, something like that? You know, and I do pounds, so... Well, 12 would be like 25. Probably uh, 30. would be 17.6. Probably 35 pound yeah, so kettlebell that, that, goblet squat. That'd be like 16 kilograms. Yeah. yeah. Is where I started. It's a starter. Mostly to focus on form. Yeah. Gradually started um, increasing weights moved to a front squat, nice. then added in the back squat, nice. um, added in overhead press, deadlift, and bench. Cool. So, um, the big lifts. And it's been fun. Yeah. Um, I've tested my max once so far for all of my lifts. What do you, are you back squatting or front squatting more? Because girls sometimes will do better with one or the other. So, I do both. I do, right now I do back squat twice a week and I do front squat once. Which one are you putting more weight on the bar for? Oh, back squat, for yeah, sure. Yeah, you're a back squatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, I was struggling a bit uh, my last program with front squat, just trying, not two programs ago. So my last program, we focused on pause front squats. Oh, fun. Yeah, it was fun. No, those aren't fun at all. Those are brutal. It was, That's it was mean. Rough. <laughs> it was rough, but they ended up being one of my favorite lifts. Yeah. Because you see improvement. Oh, and they're a burner, for sure. Oh, yeah. And you build a ton of strength in that isometric phase. So, oh, yeah. Um, so there's, and, and I think there's something to just like being in the bottom of the hole and just getting comfortable there mm -hmm. and, and figuring out, oh, this is what's clicking on and clicking off. Right. and. This is the timing of the muscle, and you build a little bit of a different mm -hmm. relationship. Absolutely. Uh, when you're down there, but yeah, I hate those. Yeah, I mean, I love to hate them, but Ooh, they're good, 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 good way of saying it. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. good. I mean, there are only a few workouts or lifts or things that I don't really like oh, yeah. to do. Yeah, there's a few that like I can't say I really hate any lift, but I like it when some are over. More yes. than others. Like lunges, I'm so happy for those. <laughs> Whenever those are done, I'm just like, yes. Chin ups, I'm like, okay, I'm done with those. Exactly. Great. Yeah. Um, I hate a lot of accessory things that always end up getting put in my program anyway. I hate <laughs> bicep curls. I hate them. A lot of girls hate I bicep hate curls. Them. Yeah. They're, I don't I just don't do a lot of them. Uh, no, we, I, we, in here we do some we press enough 
that uh, from an elbow standpoint, you would want to do some right. like, like some hammer curls or some like zombie curls or reverse curls, but we don't do a yeah. ton of just like. No, no, really. I just don't enjoy them. I'm I'm just bored and I don't like them at yeah. all. But I mean, that's the one thing that sticks out is things yeah. that I. I get a lot of eye like. rolls on on bicep curls. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. But what are you squatting now? So because you started out with 16 kilograms, 30, 30, 35 pounds, somewhere in that realm. What well, are you squatting now? it's hard to say because I haven't tested my maxes. I'm doing that not next week, the week well, after. Like what? Like what do you think you could do for like five reps? Oh. We don't test one rep max like barely. Like, Let's see. Maybe once or twice a year. Five rep max. It's hard to say. I, you know, to, okay. So back squat. I don't know. It's not as fresh in my mind. Today I did front squats, and my ninety-five percent was last I tested it was one twenty-five. That's a little bit different than thirty pounds. A little bit different. Last I tested it, I could. Good. I know that I could do way more than that. Yeah. Right. You're now. getting pretty close to putting the the big plates. The, the big uh, yeah, guys on the I know, side. and I do put the 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 plates on yeah. for my back squat. So it's kind of a pivotal I'm, day. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited to see <laughs> what I max out on in a couple weeks um, because the way that I was feeling today, especially, I felt power. Like I felt oh, yeah? strong. Like nice. I, I felt easy. Do you think that you? Uh, that you, your vocal cords are because <laughs> no. I've done that before, like where I've lifted something like really had to like not grunt it up, but really had to lock down and dr drive my diaphragm and everything. And I get done and I speak and it sounds like I'm trying to talk like this. I hope not. And it, 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 <laughs> it's only gonna get worse. And it's just like I'm really not trying to sound cool, I swear. <laughs> but it's just coming out like this like overdeveloped movie. You know, character. and I'm not much of a grunter when I lift, but I do. Yeah. I am. I don't. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of silly. The people who really. I understand it once in a while, but it, 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 at the worst, it should be like like almost like a groan. Yeah, like or a, like a Rah! huge exhale yeah. like coming up. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what I max out on. I, it's hard to say exactly what it'll end up being. Do you guys do a true one rep max, or do you do a calculated? We do a true rep one rep max. Yeah, numbers. really? Yeah. That's, that's very hard. Cool. Yeah, it's fun. Um, I, I'm so averse to injury. Just mm -hmm. I think it's partly just because I've been injured so yeah. much in my lifting career and athletic career that I just, like we hardly ever do a one rep mm -hmm. max. I mean, very, very. So yeah. we'll do like a one plus where I think that they'll probably get somewhere between three and six reps yeah. um, once in a while, but for the most part, we're yeah. just doing calculated numbers. Yeah. So today my lift was 95% of my previous max one yeah. plus. Yeah. So. Yeah. So how many times did you get it? I got three, but I think I could have gotten more. Yeah. And you did that with 120. So one, yeah, 120. Uh, 120. So yeah, you're getting pretty close. Yeah. I know I can close. do more than that though. I, like, so I'm excited to see what yeah. the actual one is. Yeah. So. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. be good. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a week, so tell them a little bit about the now. You start like uh, you said you were 200 pounds when you started this mm -hmm. journey a, a little over a year ago, like yeah. April. What is April? The fourth? Is that the fourth mm -hmm. month of the year? I never remember those mm -hmm. things. I probably should. But so you're about a year and a half. Yep. Or a little over. Yep. Um, where are you now? So my lowest weight, I was 138. You're was, pretty tall for 138. Right. What are you? You're like five nine, five ten. Five nine. Yeah. Yeah, I was very very thin. That was in January. Yeah. Um, I have been gradually, so I started around the same time that I started lifting heavy, I started tracking my calories because okay. the types of foods that I like to eat are very nutrient dense, very not calorie dense at all. So it takes a lot of food in order to meet my goal of gaining muscle. Yeah, if you're gonna eat. If I'm gonna eat. It's pretty hard to eat broccoli and overeat on exactly. calories. Exactly, yeah. it's very yeah, hard to cool. overeat on nutrient dense yeah. foods, yeah. On, yeah. on whole that's foods. A, that's like one of those things, uh, like the glycemic load but mm -hmm. versus glycemic index, and mm -hmm. all you looked at was glycemic index, and you said, oh, it's like, oh, carrots can't be in my diet anymore. Right. It's like, no, you, you, you'd have to eat so many carrots to right. have that glycemic effect. Right, you, people think about all of the sugars that are in certain vegetables or even fruit, but they kind of disregard the amount of fiber that's in all of that. Yeah. And the fiber slows the release of those sugars, and it's hard to overeat on those foods. Yeah. So if I wanted to just not track calories, um, continue to eat the foods that I'm eating, I would not be able to yeah. grow as, or, right. as I am. So. Um, my lowest weight was 138. I had been tracking calories for remember, three months almost okay. at that point. What'd you find? Gradually increasing. I needed to increase. My, my metabolic efficiency, even though I was under eating for quite a long time. I don't think we went over that. No, I we, we didn't. talked about it earlier, but real quick. Yeah. All right. So when I was um, not tracking my calories, I was severely under eating, and I didn't know this until after the fact. 
after I had educated myself. Yeah. So I was eating probably 1,200 to 1,400 calories a day, doing a lot of spin. I just can't even believe that. It was a, so, so low. Yeah, but I wasn't hungry because I was eating a lot of fiber. <laughs> a lot, you know? Um, so I was doing like an hour of spin every single day. Plus another hour, probably, of You're my... You're such a little nutcase. It was insane. <laughs> it was insane. Yeah. Like, but I mean, I mean, insanity, like, obsessiveness, like, I think these are, like, everybody looks at these like they're negative words. I don't mm -hmm. think they're bad words. No, no, no. I mean, it was, it was just, it's surprising and, you know, hindsight. Yeah. You know, you can't really change what you, you know, the decisions and things that you do in the past. But you learn from it. You kept exactly. on improving. Yeah, that's exactly. one of those things that you see, that I see people do is uh, they'll be like, they, they got to a level and then they just kept on doing what they mm -hmm. always did. Or they'll they'll commit to one thing for like two weeks and a new thing for two weeks and a new thing for two weeks. It's like, you got to let it run its course and right. then you up your game. You can't just keep on going laterally. Right, right, yeah. right. So I was under eating. I mean, I was burning off probably 800 calories on top of my 1,200, 1,400. That is not enough food. Yeah, that's malnourishment. It, it is. It mm -hmm. is. Bad. So anyway, so I, had, you do? I increased my calories. So I started lifting heavy. I started working with a dietitian. He told me, you need to eat more. I said, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> All right. And you need to do less cardio. And I said, oh. How'd that okay. one feel? Well, it was stressful. At but you first. took, but you took the, because I say that to people sometimes, and they think I'm nuts. Like, what do you mean less cardio? Why would you ever do less cardio? That's crazy. You need more and more. Uh, he said, point. you don't need to lose fat anymore. You need to gain, mu or you want to gain muscle. All cardio is doing is burning off the calories that could be used toward building muscle. That's a good way to put it. That's all he yeah. needed to say to me, and I was like, oh, that's yeah. the only thing cardio is doing for me. I mean, besides. Uh, you know, cardiopulmonary function yeah. and thing like and that. Cardio what I just said purpose. sounded like I was dissing cardio. I'm I not. I diss cardio on a regular basis. I, I, it has its place, right? right. But it's, it's so oversold and right. so over bought into. And it's just like people think that they got to jog five miles every day and do their lifting on top of it. It's no. like, no, you, if you did that, like five miles is a lot for one. But mm -hmm. if you uh, did, if you just got your cardio doing something fun, right. like going paddle boarding or right. going dancing or laughing with your friends like mm -hmm. yeah going for a bike ride like, rather than your, yeah you yeah. can put stress in your heart in a lot of different ways absolutely yeah. good stress on your heart yes yeah yeah <laughs> so so i dropped my cardio started lifting incorporated rest days <laughs> those are hard at first yeah. now i, I love say. them i yeah. love them so much and so um really switch you know i was too much pulled back a little bit, increased my calories, and I have gained muscle. So my body fat, I wish I would have tested it when I started lifting yeah. heavy. That's like I the would, classic, right? Yeah. Like everybody says, I wish I would have taken before pictures. I, yeah. And oh, I, I, I have, have all this. of the before pictures, yeah. which is the cool thing. Yeah, yeah, it is cool. But, um, you know, I was doing caliper testing, but I was seeing a lot of variation in yeah. it's what hard to those get results they get a really good consistent pinch. Exactly. Uh, just human error, yeah. um, day to day. Uh, at least it's something, right? Yeah. It's a lot better than just getting on the scale. Absolutely, because the scale doesn't reflect changes yeah. in body composition no. at all. It's just your relationship with gravity. Mm -hmm. So I um, started. So I had caliper testing done. I would probably estimate myself when I before I started lifting heavy. I would say I was probably about 26, 27% body fat, maybe on the high end if I'm estimating. You mean after, my, after losing my the first weight 55? Loss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, you're not that now. No, no. There's no way. No, no. Um, I'm 19% yeah. Percent yeah. right now. And that's. Uh, that's where I would have guessed you. Yeah. I didn't want to. I didn't want to actually guess and, yeah. and look like a huge no, asshole. No. But, um. Yeah. So I had started getting bod pod testing, and oh, it's cool. just been yeah. cool. And so have a good uh, grasp of where my body fat yeah. is sitting. So I had lost um, body fat despite the fact that I was eating more, doing less cardio, and working out just overall I love less. This. I love. This. It's great. It's like, it's really cool because I like all this stuff because it's just science. It's like yeah. exactly the way the yeah. body's supposed to work. I, I have seen it in myself, which yeah. is like the coolest thing. Yeah. I, I, I'm really proud of you for being able to like take that mm -hmm. advice and run with it because it's, oh, yeah. it's very against you know, oh, mainstream, yeah. standardized, you know, mm -hmm. like, no, you're a female. You can't lift weights. 
uh, or like you know like like even if you go into like your standard uh, globo gym type mm -hmm. place, it's a bunch of bro dudes standing in front of a mirror, picking their back knee and watching their biceps <laughs> fill up with blood. You know what I mean? It's it's disgusting. And, and then like their machismo bullshit, like definitely like pushes all like yeah. any female that shows up in there, they're like, what are you doing? Here? Right. Or they get you know like ogled the entire time. Yeah. Which is equally. I mean, Annoying. Pick your poison. Right, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. so it's really cool that you're able to do it. Yeah, do. it's fun. It's fun. So, yeah, my focus now is continuing to build strength and muscle. Um, still eating. I mean, I eat an absurd amount of food every day, <laughs> and I enjoy every minute yeah. of it. Like, That's, I really try to get, like, before we, we talk calories, before we talk, you know, like, food timing, mm -hmm. before we talk anything, it's always food type. Oh, it's yeah. like, why would you not focus on that up front? Like, get your get your micronutrient, get your health. Like, mm -hmm. that should be the the uh, the point of emphasis. And wow. the same thing with like uh, training for aesthetics versus training for performance. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, well, I'll ask you. Like, do you think that your aesthetics have taken care of themselves via oh, working yes. for performance, Absolutely. or do you think that you were better off just spending all the time and that your body was looking better? Because oh no, I didn't have defined abs when I was spinning all the time. I didn't have like visible muscle yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> i mean no <laughs> no with your with your 15 pound with my 15 pound rdls no like i feel like i've grown i've yeah. built curves in the process was that a tough thing to say built no I, no, no grown um because like like a lot of people uh, like especially the female crowd like they don't want to grow they're like grow what why would i want to grow i i prefer the word grow versus gain when i talk about oh yeah yeah because when i talk about this because a lot of my so my instagram started out as a way to motivate myself when i was sure. overweight it has grown into yeah. this well, I don't even know what I would call it right now. I don't know if anybody knows what social media really I know, is. It's a crazy I know. monster. It's a cool platform where I can communicate about my nerdy stuff and my lifting <laughs> stuff and my cooking stuff. But um, I talk a lot about what I'm doing and I try not yeah. to use the word gain as much. And I don't use the word bulk. I hate that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> especially because most of my followers, people who look at my stuff, um, my friends, they're women. Yeah. And so that has a very negative connotation. It does. For a lot of people think, people who, a lot of women think, I lift, I'm going to get bulky. Yeah. I don't want to gain weight. Well, I have gained weight since yeah. my 138. I don't weigh 138 anymore. Yeah. And I'm happy about it. Yeah. I've gained muscle in the process. Is it all right to ask what your weight is right now? 142. 142. But... My my my, per, my body composition is so much different yeah. at 142 than it was at 138. My body fat percentage is less at 142 versus 138. Yeah, so you, that's an amazing concept to get across. It is. Yeah. I mean, I wrote a blog post about this not that long ago about tracking your progress yeah. and how to do that effectively and how the scale is just. It's kind of garbage. It's stupid. Yeah. It doesn't it's... tell you anything other than a big, like, random number. It doesn't tell you anything about your makeup. Yeah. I think it's a really good way to, uh, to like, reinforce the idea that you're not good enough to be where, mm -hmm. where you're going. It's yeah. like, oh, you get on there and it's like, oh, I only lost a pound. I guess I'm just going to be fat forever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right, I mean, right. Like, no. Like, uh, like we, I've counseled, I don't know how many people at this point. I, I should probably go back and count. We could do that. Like that's such a recurring theme. Mm -hmm. It's like I got on the scale and felt depressed. I got on the scale and it ruined my day. Mm -hmm. I got on the scale, you know, and it's just like, you lose a goddamn scale. I know. I <laughs> like, know. Maybe you feel better. Yeah. And maybe if you feel better, you'll you'll lose more weight. You'll yeah. have less stress hormones running through your body. I know. Yeah, like, oh, like all kinds this of stuff. Is my thing. Yeah, I know. It's, oh, please do go oh, off on this. I, I love the I love the recovery game. I love the stress God. hormone thing. It's, talk about it's undeniable. Over. Like you, you, like uh, if you, uh, there's a book. Uh, if anybody is wanting to geek out on any of this stuff, there's a book called uh, "Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers." Oh, I've not read it. It's a, uh, it's a collection of this guy. Jesus is like a weird dude, but uh, <laughs> so basically, his it, like the concept of the book is like a zebra doesn't get an ulcer because when the lion comes up over the top of the hill to try to kill the zebra, the zebra runs away using the stress hormones, using the energy mm -hmm. instead of 
Um, today, the well, we're not running away from saber-toothed tigers or going to fight anymore. So you get cut off in traffic. The same stress mm -hmm. response happens. The same stress hormones happen. You get a fight with your significant other. You have a really hard workout. The st same stress hormones happen, and you need those. Mm -hmm. You know, like Addison's disease is lack yeah. of cortisol, right? So you need those. But what happens when we don't use them? Right. Bad things happen. Bad things happen. Yeah. I could get into hormones for a long time now. <laughs> I I love that stuff. I mean, it it's nerd stuff for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. awesome. It's really geeky, but like uh, it's one of those things that it can get so complicated and so profound and so and you can go and go and go and go mm -hmm. and it all comes back to this. Like, what well, you got to recover, you got to relax, you gotta you gotta sleep. You know, mm -hmm. like, and it, it's know. amazing how simple the solution is. I know, and I mean, I'll say I'll be the first one to say. You know, I, like I said, I work full time. I'm a PhD student. I yeah. emphasize my workouts. I cook like all of my meals for the most part. I mean, stress is a thing that I deal with, but when I know that I'm feeling, yeah. when I'm Same. feeling it, I pull back. Same. When I really am thinking about my sleep, I know I could do better, which is why I push back my workout a little bit yeah. today. Um, which is why I have really emphasized sleeping on the weekends. I've taken myself out of some things that I don't really care so much about, but I felt like I've had to attend to focus on sleep and rest and recovery. Yeah. It just, it makes a big difference. It does. It took, it took me way too long. There's a, there's a fine line between tough and stupid, right? Oh yeah. You know, and I cross the line between tough and stupid all the time. <laughs> um, but like, uh, like you have to notice those things and like, it's not always obvious. It's not always like, uh, you went on a three day bender and didn't get mm -hmm. any sleep. It's like you, you don't even know that your body is fighting off an illness. Right. And it might almost be losing if you don't uh, do, only do half of your workout. Right. Yeah, and I don't mean do half of the exercises. I mean do half of the reps mm -hmm. or half of the weight or half of the, you know, whatever it is. Just, um, right. Like uh, yesterday, I know my body's kind of in one of those states right now, so I just came out. I, I did my warm-up three times and left. Mm -hmm. It's just like yeah. you, don't, you don't need to go hard all the time. Yeah. Last week I took two days off. Whoa. I know. That was a big deal for me, too. <laughs> I hadn't taken, I had not skipped planned workouts in over a year and a half. I've deloaded. I've yeah. taken an entire rest week. I've done that, but I, I felt. Is it, like That sounds like a strategic skip, though. Yeah. I yeah. felt bad enough where I knew that I was not going to do myself any good yeah. by being in the gym. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, uh, you have to listen to that stuff. And the, the way that I like to say it is like all the magic happens during the recovery phase mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. Like no one got stronger in the gym. Right. No one lost a pound of fat in the gym. No one gained a pound of muscle in the gym. Right. Like nothing, like that was the stimulus. That was the like right. kind of a catalyst or right. whatever you want to call it. But all the magic, all happens, the great stuff. Happens during rest. <laughs> it's the best. Yeah. That's why recovery is so important in nutritional recovery. And I talk about that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, and if you don't have that, the, the way that we do it, uh, or explain it, is that like if health is in the middle, uh, the four wheels of the car, or the four corners, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it, is uh, mindset, nutrition, exercise, recovery. Mm -hmm. uh, so, because if, if you don't have one of those, you're, you're really starving yeah. your body out for yep. some attention that it needs. Yep. But Agreed. Any uh, geeky stuff you want to talk about hormones and really oh, lay God. on people? Oh, man. I don't where know. Where would are... you begin? <laughs> I know. I don't even know where to start with that. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Uh, that's that's a rabbit hole. That's just a rabbit <laughs> hole. <laughs> I agree. I, uh, the, the, even the, the it's super correlated research, but like uh, your fat displacements, mm -hmm. like where you actually end up putting your fat on your body, mm -hmm. dependent on. Um, like I don't, I have a hard time saying that. Oh, that's that's the cause of where your fat. You know, yeah. there's so many other factors going into. Oh that. yeah, there's a million. Things. But uh, there's a pretty heavy correlation between like high stress and midsection fat. Yeah. You know? um, or low growth hormone and more fat around your ankles. Right. You know, uh, so like th th there's something there. Increased cortisol and reduced uh, muscle protein synthesis. Yeah. 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 You just uh, at some point. But you do need a certain amount of stress. Yeah, yes, know? absolutely. But um, if you're over stressed, then you, it can be catabolic. Yeah, I talk about uh, knee stress with people once in a while because we have a lot of knee issues in here. And it's like some knee stress is like, you want that knee mm -hmm. stress. Like otherwise, it's just going to go to pieces. Right. Uh, but there, there's a point, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we're almost up on time. Anything? Oh, man. Oh, I know. That's crazy. It just flies. <laughs> uh, any of the like words of wisdom, things that inspirational messages that you oh, want to get across man. to people? Uh, focus on the big picture. I was just talking to someone about this, and a lot of people think, okay, I need to make sure that I am getting 
um, you know, these specific micronutrients. And people ask, do I, are these oh. specific things? And I really just need to focus on this. And this is going to make my entire, you know, body function the way that it needs to. Or I need to eliminate this food because <laughs> it is bad for me. And the this demonization is, of food. This is Those going to laugh. impact my overall health status. Yeah. And, it, you know, I have gotten to the point now where there are certain things that I'm not going to put in my body. I've got the, oh, yeah. the mindset that I'm not going to function appropriately. I've used the reference, you wouldn't put cooking oil in a Ferrari and expect it to run efficiently. That's a good point. Um, <laughs> I'm not that I'm comparing myself to a Ferrari. Oh, I, think, I think you just did. <laughs> I, I yeah. mean, not Things intentionally. <laughs> not intentionally. But it's just, you know, looking at your big picture and putting in, you know, good stuff you know, the majority of the time, but also there's not really bad, bad foods unless you're eating them all the time yeah. consistently. If you want to go have ice cream, be social. Like, don't yeah. don't put yourself in this, like, bubble where you're not enjoying your life. I completely agree. Because Or you're, you're being a douchebag about, like, I, <laughs> I should say that. It's but, fine. But being, a, like, an elitist, like, oh, I don't I eat. don't eat that. I don't, yeah. I don't. And I've been there. I've been there. I've oh, I've, I've done stupid stuff. Yeah, like that I mean, I've just been to the. I mean, I've been, I've been there. I've said I don't eat that. I don't do that. Yeah. But it's you know. After a while, it's kind of like, eh, is it? Is it worth it? Yeah. Does it make I, a big difference? I do difference? this. I do this three times a year. Right. You know, it's yeah. the cumulative effects that are exactly. really going to exactly like that. Big picture is what's most important, yeah. and I think That's, people uh, get hung up on the eliminate dairy, eliminate gluten, eliminate this, like. Yeah. No. Sugar is poison. Right. Grains will kill you. Right. Yeah. 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 I completely agree. And, you know, you hear a lot about preaching of balance and stuff. And, I, you know, that it's its own thing. But it's just look at your big picture and just consistency of good. I and agree. That's yeah. my big thing. And depending on, like, depending on a person, things might change a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like, I don't know. Like, you have an, uh, an endomorph style person. Mm -hmm. body type person mm -hmm. like they might eat a little bit different than some sure. or uh like in iowa we have to be really careful because it's a uh, meal plans are it's it's uh protected dietitians are protected Jeez, right. like a little bit right. so uh what we do we just focus basically on strategy mm -hmm. but that's what people need anyway you know yeah everybody basically everybody knows that an apple is better than a snickers mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah and i mean everyone's going to respond differently too or have their own um best ways that they can make yeah. health work for them. Like, uh, you don't have to count calories. You don't yeah. have to, I mean, you can eat intuitively. You can follow a meal plan. You can do this. You just have to find what works best with your lifestyle. Yeah. And like my mom asked me to write her a meal plan and I said, sure. And I calculated her macros and I did it. <laughs> and she was like, you know what? I can't do this. Yeah. Like I can try to do this, but I'm not gonna do it well. I was like, okay, let's pull back. Here's here's some options. Let's pick and choose, and you can pick a breakfast, two snacks, a lunch, and a dinner from this list, yeah. and you're gonna be fine. Yeah, and how'd that work for her? It's worked. I mean, she's starting it, so she says. Oh, this, this is works. this is recent. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's starting it. She says this looks like it's manageable. Good. So, yeah. and that's really what it comes down to. Yeah, is can you do something consistently? Right. Yeah, because it, it, if it's if it's gonna be something that they, like I think like discipline has to be it, it's just a given. It's mm -hmm. just an assumption. Uh, that you have to be disciplined right. to be able to do it. But at the same time, it's gotta be like somewhat applicable Doable. to their yeah. life. Like, right. like uh, uh, the eat every two to four hours thing. Right. It's like, I, at some point we gotta get real on this. Some people <laughs> can do that. I have to do that or I am an evil human. Oh really? Yes. Got that hangry thing going oh, on. Yeah. 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 I stopped doing that a lot. Like it just became such a chore. It, it is it, hard. Um, food was just, it's just such a pain in the ass mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I didn't really think that the effects were bad or good. Yeah. Either way, I mean, when I'm switching back and forth, two meals, six meals, mm -hmm. eight meals, three meals, yeah, you know, I was like, ah. Do you intermittently fast? Do you do this? Yeah. I mean, it, it, there's it's big picture stuff. Yeah. Put I good agree. in, good will come out. Yeah, um, and it, it, like you said, like. It, just be extremely consistent with everything that you do mm -hmm. and have just mountains and mountains of patience mm -hmm. and just keep on upping your game as you Absolutely. go along. Absolutely. Good things happen. Yep. Well, Agreed. Thanks for being here. Of course. Yeah. Where, um, remind them where, where they can follow uh, um, Wow. So that came out. Where they can, where they can follow, follow you. Me? So it's keeping it simple. KP underscore I-N-G it simple. 
on Instagram, and I think it's the same on Facebook, but I'm mostly active on Instagram. Cool. Cool. Well, thanks for being here. I really yeah. appreciate it. Oh, yeah. It's been fun. I'll do it again. <laughs> You're a cool, cool person. I like following you on Facebook, oh, on, on Instagram, too. Instagram. It's, a, it's a lot of sass and <laughs> nerd. <laughs> the majority it's of good it. Though. It's great. Good. It's, it's fantastic stuff. I'm glad. Anyway, um, thanks for being here, guys. Uh, you can uh, go follow uh, Kelly over at her. I don't even want to try to do it. Um, keeping gonna, it simple. Keeping it simple. Yeah. I'll get it at some point. And grit gym for my peeps. Yeah, everybody actually probably gets yours right and gets mine wrong because everybody thinks it's like grip. Like oh, grit. Yeah, or grit. You can see it behind Great gym. Or like uh, if you do the auto thing into the phone, oh. it'll go, come out great J-I-M. <laughs> so it's really funny. But, great gym. Yeah, great gym. <laughs> but thanks for being here, guys. We're going to uh, hop off, but um, glad you came by. Yeah, it's thanks. been fun. All right, see ya.